important thing to realize about ZBrush is the 2.5D canvas that it works under. If you, when you first open up ZBrush and you click to draw on the screen, you're just going to get this square tiling. It's a simple brush and that's what it's doing. It's actually drawing this information onto the canvas. It's drawing a square alpha because if you haven't specified one. Had I changed this to something circular, we'd get something circular. Without an alpha, it will just take the this, this space here and draw that. It is using material information. Um, I could change this to something else and we can change the color but we're not just storing red green blue and material information or GB and M material information we're actually actually also storing um, depth Z information and this is where ZBrush differs to other applications this that we're drawing on the canvas here has depth if I am to if I change over to a two and a half D brush and we choose something like a snake hook brush, you can see that we've actually got some depth coming off the canvas here. Um, if I took a 3D mesh and dropped it on the canvas, I'm literally dropping it on the canvas. I'm painting it, it has depth. So while this might look like a 3D object, um, if I change this to something like this, it may look like one. Um, if I change my brush to, for example, a smudge brush. You see, I'm just smudging what appeared to be a 3D object, mixing it with the 2D stuff. Everything is together. Um, there's no real change to that. So this gives you some indication of the depth. They call this pixel, each pixel that has this red, green, blue material and depth information, a pixel, a P-I-X-O-L, and hence the name Pixel Logic. Um, to try and demonstrate just how much depth we get from this, if I go to the alpha menu and choose grab doc, it will take a snapshot of the document. And you can see here that this alpha has this kind of depth information built into it. Uh, to demonstrate that, if we change to a, a plane, I'm going to go to our layer, I'm going to hit control N, everything is stored in a layer. And um, this is the layer here, so I'm effectively going to clear that layer with control N. I'll draw out my plane. I go into edit mode to lift it off the canvas to make it a 3D object. Um, I'll make it a sculptable object and I will divide it several times just to have some resolution to play with. And now using a drag rectangle stroke type and grabbing that alpha, you can see that there's the depth information. Increase the intensity of that a little bit. The depth information that we had captured from the canvas earlier on from the, that smudging stroke. And um, hope that clears things up about the 2.5D nature of the ZBrush canvas. Bye.